Welcome back to the kitchen. Today I wanted to share this stupid little hack that I did. So, if you pay attention, you know that I'm really cheap and I love going to like Goodwill and Salvation Army. Anyway, I picked up a pair of these old realistic, these mini speakers, and they've got 4C batteries in each one, so there's a 6 volt DC, like a wall war jack. And then over here, there's a, like an eighth inch audio input on both of the speakers. There's two inputs. So what I did for this one, I completely removed, I unsoldered the audio input because it's a switching jack. When you plug the input in, it turns the batteries and the circuit on, and then when you're done, you unplug it and shuts the batteries off to save them. So I ran, I removed that and then ran the wires up here to a quarter inch jack. And the reason I had to remove the jack is with those switching jacks, I think if I'm right, if I remember, you can't just like solder in there and leave the old jack there and then expect it to work. It won't turn on. You've got to like physically either, excuse me, you either have to like uh, bend that tab out of there or like rip that, you know, but unsolder it and remove that jack and then it'll work. The switching function will work. Or you could put a switch in it, but switch is like a dollar, you know. Anyway, with this, the idea is now I've got a little mini test amp. Hear that? Yeah, it's pretty quiet. These batteries are probably kind of bad. This is like not really a high output device. But it, it really isn't that loud. Now, if I wanted to, I could like make a little one transistor booster circuit and put it in there. But this amp isn't like for, it's just for a quick test to make sure whatever is working. Like if I bring home a toy or something like garbage pit or need something real quick. And it is quick because you don't, it's got C batteries, which should last like theoretically a long time. As long as I don't get carried away and leave it plugged in. I've got a bunch of like mini amps and amps here. So this one is strictly like for testing. And it already really like paid its rent for the 50 cents that it costs for a jack and the dollar store C batteries. Because I've used it a bunch of times and I, I really like this little amp. Now the other speaker, that one, you know, I've got two kids, i got two girls. So we accumulated like a ton of Barbie stuff. And a few years back, my wife was getting rid of a bunch of her toys. And there was, I noticed this was like a blue airplane, like this big plane. And hanging out of the door, there was this little black, like a CB looking mic with like a coily cable going in there. So I was like, hey, that little PA, that doesn't really like work, does it? She goes, I think so. So I grabbed a couple of AA batteries and put them in there. And sure enough, this thing is excellent. It's all fuzzed out and it feeds back. It's like this like mini Mike Patton style CB mic PA with distortion. So I, you know, right away I got a Phillips and tore it apart and I've got that little mini Barbie PA here. Now it sat there for the longest time. I was thinking I'm going to rehouse that, put it in like a nice cigar box or something wood with a nice larger speaker, you know. And I never got around to it. And then I ended up like throwing it in a box. And not right now it's down in the nether. Which the nether is like, it's bad news. I gotta like really sweet talk my wife and kids to get them to want to go down there. It's all like cobwebs and bat eggs and sugar maggots down there. So anyway, we were driving down the street. We were in like a little bit nicer of a neighborhood. There was this fancy house. There was this huge pile of toys at the end of the driveway by the garbage cans. I was like, hey, honey. And she was like, no, 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 no. Kids are getting older. We don't have room for any more crap. So I like really behaved myself well when we were in the store. And then on the way back, I was like, so, honey, do you want to like, see if those toys are still maybe here? So we pulled in, and it was like a circular driveway. It was perfect. We jump out. There's it was like this giant like plastic boat full of toys. So we were all like in there digging around for a long time. And then the guy like came out of the garage and like, he turned around and went back in. It was really bad. <laughs> so I was like, you know what, let's just take all this stuff. So we had like a half a carload full of toys. And we got back here and it worked out pretty good. I donated a bunch of the stuff and it got actually shipped to Mexico to like kids that actually need and deserve these nice toys. And they, they weren't, it was nice stuff, but I kept the, the jet. Now, it's no longer the Barbie fun jet anymore. Vattel, every few years, they go through and like redesign and update their toys. Now, it is Bobby's Glam Jet. Hey, hey, rock and roll, kids. 
Bobby loves Ken. Ken loves Bobby at the glam jet. They're going for a ride. They're holding hands, flying high up in the sky in the glam jet. Rock and roll, hey, rock style with the glam Bobby. Ken's behind the wheel and Bobby's pouring a cocktail. How about a speedball in the glam jet, kids? Hey, hey, rock and roll. Yeah, <laughs> glam jet. So, yeah, I've got the mini Barbie PA. And, uh... <laughs> So yeah, but it actually does serve a pretty functional purpose. <clears throat> Maybe a demonstration's in order. Honey? Yes? Could I get a cold one, please? Sure. Thanks, Barbie. <laughs> for this what I did usually when I'm trying to do something with a toy like this or any like a karaoke board that has a PT2399 chip in it you look around for the resistors like especially the ones that will be near the black blob the main chip or the, the delay chip the 2399 and then I'll, I'll lick my finger and I'll stick it on the resistor and you'll find the one that's like the timing resistor and when you hit that You'll hear the pitch increase, or the echoes will change, the delay time. So then you just remove that resistor, and you're cut in a pot. So like in this case... sound effect is playing, the mic comes on too, so you can do like a... So, yeah, it's 
the uh, Barbie Glam Jet PA. <laughs> I'm sure I'm never going to really, like I'll have to, like, there is no practical application for the Barbie Glam Jet PA. <clears throat> I'll have to, like, work this into some kind of, like, musical or prom. <laughs> I already did. Anyway, um, the circuit, you know, it, I had it, there was a circuit board in here for the amp, the original realistic speaker had an amp. And initially, I didn't think that the Barbie, the Glamjet circuit would be that loud, so I connected that to that. And it was like really distorted, so I cut a pot in between there to try to like throttle it down a little bit. And then I thought, just for kicks, why not just try going right into the onboard speaker? And sure enough, it's, it was plenty loud. Uh, the original Barbie Glamjet speaker is like a, it's like a 40 millimeter mylar speaker, like almost like a headphone element, and then they mount that in like a little plastic thing to try to make it a little louder. It's pretty quiet, but they don't, you know, it's a kid's toy. They don't want it, you know, like 80 to 110 decibels. They want it quiet so it doesn't drive the parents crazy. So this is going right into the stock Radio Shack speaker, which does have a pretty big magnet. This was a pretty decent speaker. I'm guessing this unit came out sometime in the mid 80s, so it isn't total crap. But um, I love how it feeds back. It's so cool. And uh, the uh, the microphone has it does have a working button. On the mic, I'll give you a little close up here. Here's the button, and it probably it looks like it's blue, but it's actually very it's very purple. But uh, it's one of them little like uh, momentary contact buttons, the black circular thing. So if there's ever a problem with that, I can because I have I got it in there too. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I really like this thing. I you know I could add an input to it. It's already got the clock mod, you know, normally when I do something like this, I'll put an echo on it. I just, I did this how it was. I think it's absolutely perfect. And I like the way the, the case design came out with the realistic being upside down, the way it looks like that. I think it's actually pretty cool. So thank you for joining me. Uh, stay tuned. I've got some excellent stuff coming up, some cool pedal demos, some exciting DIY stuff, and probably some more music stuff with the family band. I got a, I, we're doing something called Super Jam All Analog. It's like our noise side project, our, our side band. And uh, so that we should have something coming up for that real soon. And uh, most importantly, don't forget to keep on hacking.